in the movie that is the life of Seagars and Mitchell Orchant with some uh, supporting roles from Ron, Laura and a number of other people. So we have a 25th birthday party here. My first thought was, where's the cake? Well, that's been answered. I've also noted a few things that we could smoke, so I think we're covered. We also have some kind words that I can share with you. Roy Sommer, Davidoff's representative on Earth here in the UK. Now, Roy, as many of you know, has a young child at home, so he's become a bit of an expert in growth. And according to Roy, Seagulls is coming along quite nicely. <laughs> Scott Vines of uh, Touring Pods, obviously not here because as many of you know he's had an eye operation, but uh, Scott has shared with me that even he, in his current situation, can still see that Seagars is a sight to behold. Now to bring us up to the present day, we have some Belgian cousins here of Seagars, Frederick Deschamps indeed is here, collectively they're known as uh, Dominique London. According to Frederick, so far so good. <laughs> with better times in the future. Now there's a person here who has a foothold in the past, the present and the future, and that's Gemma Freeman, Executive Chairman of Hunters and Franca. And in many ways Gemma's uh, path in our world has been almost parallel with Seagars. I think we can all agree that Gemma is definitely someone that can speak for everyone here. So if I can invite Gemma up to the, uh, the microphone here to share a few thoughts on Seagars and Mitchell at this very, very uh, significant landmark. Ladies and gentlemen, Gemma Freeman. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, thank you, Mitch, for having us all this evening. It's definitely going to be a fabulous party, and you're very kind and generous to have us all here. And thank you to the team at Boysdale for looking after us so well. Um, I'm very privileged to be here speaking about Mitch. Um, I've known Mitch for 20 years and he's been a customer of Hunters and Frank Arts for over 25 years. We think of Mitch as a pioneer in our business. He led the way with the internet. He was one of the first people to recognize how important it would become to the cigar industry. He also developed a chain of retail shops in a time when people thought that retail was over. Not only shops, he started an auction, which has been a huge success, and he's built an amazing network of sampling rooms up and down the country. He services our country beautifully with cigars, day in, day out. Mitch has also built a remarkable network in the years he's been doing, doing what he does. He has numerous friends, some of them consumers, some of them suppliers, some of them new partners. He's known throughout the world, and he's welcomed wherever he goes. He's extremely well known in Cuba, where I believe he's been over a hundred times, I'm told. Um, and is always there to support Cuba whenever, whenever it's required. When I think of Mitch, I think of someone who has worked unbelievably hard. He's a grafter. I remember when I was first at Hunters, and we would talk about the emails we got from Mitch, 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning. And this was probably pre the day of a mobile email system. We didn't take them home on our phone, so we knew Mitch was in the office. And we asked Mitch one day, what are you doing at 3 a.m. sending emails? He said, well, I get up every day, I set myself a target and I do not go to bed until I hit that target. And I think that ethos has been incredibly powerful and has led to the huge success that Mitch is enjoying at the moment. In terms of how visionary he is, I think we're seeing that again at the moment with his movement into premium drinks. A lot of people have touched on premium drinks, but they haven't done it in such a way that Mitch is doing it, and I think it will have a huge impact on our industry. Mitch is also very, very clear about the fact that none of this would have been possible without the team he has around him. He has an incredibly strong team and a very loyal team, a number of them who've been with Mitch, like Mish, right since the beginning, and, and I think deserves a little round of applause. Big round. Mitch also always credits his father, Michael, who I've just had the pleasure. Mitchell, sorry, Mitchell. 
Mitchell. Mitchell also credits his father Michael with, with his success and leading him all the time. And it's lovely to have met Michael this evening. And I think that I would be very, very wrong if I didn't mention Michelle, Mitch's partner, the glamorous. Sorry. By Mitch aside, day in, day out, photographed looking beautiful, and the most fabulous partner I think that Mitch could have in life. So again, I'd like to raise our glass. <laughs> Mitch, it's been a ride over the last 25 years, um, and I think no one will be better able to see us through the next 25 years. And I, and I, for one, am greatly looking forward to that. So thank you for everything, and good luck over the next 25 years. Thank you. <laughs> Gemma Freeman, always eloquent, always unforgettable. <laughs> I think we're probably ready now for a few words from the birthday boy. I hope we can come up with 25 years worth of applause for him. Ladies and gentlemen, the founding father of Seagars, Mitchell Orchard. to this birthday party. So Seagars is 25 years old and all grown up. In fact, it's also the 205th anniversary of Termo's tobacconist business. In all, quite a feat to have survived, to even thrived in the cigar business. This has been against a backdrop of anti-tobacco legislation for as long as I can remember. The smoking ban was of course designed to stop people smoking. So entirely, so not entirely successful then. The thinking behind the law was to improve health. I had my own health MOT last month. I'm very glad to say I'm in very good shape, but not quite as good as the business. That is in part thanks to the second largest professional sector we serve. Funny enough, doctors. A big thank you. <laughs> a big thank you to the head of neurosurgery in a top Hamburg hospital. He used to come into my Hamburg shop for a punch double corona every lunchtime to relax as he was most worried about the impact of stress on his well-being. Thanks also to the top Harley Street cardiologist who came to my office once. His girlfriend wanted to treat him to a few boxes of Havanas as a retirement gift. She duly did. He was 70, she was 25. <laughs> Far more likely to see him off than any cigar. As for us, it's been a long rocky road over the last 25 years. We've survived not only recessions and anti-tobacco legislation, but also battled with some mad landlords and inevitably some anti-smoking neighbors. The odd environmental health officer has also come after us. Once we explain how the relevant law actually works, they've been happy enough to let the must be. Even after 25 years, I'm not sure we're quite ready for an, for an autobiography. The best book ever written about cigars is the encyclopedia, that's by Ming Ronnie. Yes, you guessed it, another doctor. A great believer in the antioxidant qualities of a Havana cigar, as he explained to me once in Hong Kong. Take what he says, and a cigar is almost one of your five a day. <laughs> That's not the only lesson I've learned over the last 25 years. I know that Liverpool, where I acquired my first Tomo's tobacco in the shop, and where our fantastic puffin rooms are today, is as safe as houses. The first time I went there, my father warned me against taking my car. In fact, I drove to Liverpool and I had no issues at all. Meanwhile, his Rolls Royce back at home in London was stripped of his beautiful front wheel. He eventually gave away the rest of the car to no doubt his very grateful mechanic. Looking back, you have to see the funny side. I hope all of those who have been a part of Seagars over the years can smile about their time with us. What has always mattered is friendship and creating happy memories. All through our shared love of the leaf. This evening is another occasion for the sort of camaraderie only a mutual love of cigars can generate, and a night to remember, or at least try to remember. 
Please raise your glasses and drink a toast with me to the next 25 years, as crazy and wonderful as the last 25 years. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mitchell. As well as a celebration of Seagull's 25 years, this is a celebration of brevity. So that concludes the formal proceedings for this evening. I suspect there are a few informal proceedings that still will be ongoing uh, a little bit later, so do enjoy what uh, you have in your uh, rather rather handy bags. Um, thank you very much, Mitchell. Thank you, Gemma. See you all back here in 2047 for the Big Five O. Thanks for coming. Thank you.